Hi guys, I'm Paul from Russell Fraser Sales. Today we're going to be looking at what's in the box with one of the NDT options from Creaform, Pipe Check. So here we have the HandyScan 700. We've looked at this in more detail in another video. Uh, this is our pipe sample. So it's just a small sample we have for this demonstration. You've got a few uh, patches of corrosion and some drilled holes. We're going to have a look at that and see what the scanner can find. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to take us through guided analysis. I'm going to skip some steps uh, just for the sake of time, but this is a guided view that will take you through step by step and help you set it up. So we, for this sample, we're going to do a corrosion analysis. Uh, it's a straight pipe. You can, if you have a slightly bent pipe, you can straighten it. We're not talking elbows or anything here, guys. Just if you have a slightly damaged or slightly bent pipe, you can straighten it out to avoid any error in the pit gauge. Uh, this is where you put in your parameters, whether you want metric or imperial measurements, pipeline owners, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is already set up for this, this pipe sample, but this is where you put in uh, your features such as pipeline diameter, wall thickness, those kinds of things. Uh, according to S-Flow, all the parameters, a few steps, you guys will understand all this. Interaction parameters, how you want to use it, fit to shape, growing box, any number of options. How you want to choose your grid, so at the moment we've got it set at 25mm, so uh, 1 inch in the old system. And your colour scheme. And then here you can choose which, which parameters you want to have. Uh, so we're going to take scan only. You can also import UT data into this. So if you have something like a wheel probe and you've taken ultrasonic data from the inside of the pipe, you can import that data into pipe check and then get a true wall thickness. But for this we're just going to use the scan. I'm going to do a new scan. I'm going to set the resolution at one millimeter. So here it's asking if we want a referenced or unreferenced scan. What that's referring to is this. So this is the reference arrow. So this is a magnetically mounted arrow. It will stick onto the pipe, points in the direction of flow, and this is your reference point. So if we chose to do a reference scan, the first thing the scanner wants to see is this, uh, this specific arrow. Uh, they're all serialized. Parameters are very accurately measured. Once it uses this, every part of the scan will be referenced to this. So you can take this arrow and say it is, say, 600 mil downflow from weld ABC, and everything will then be referenced to this. But for the sake of this demo, we're not going to use it. So it's asking him to do a calibration. That's using the calibration plate that comes with the scanner. I've covered that in the other video. Same with the configuration. I've already set it up for this sample. And there's a few tips about setting up the positioning targets here for you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is scan the targets. So hold the scanner about 30 centimeters away. And there we go. It is that quick. Doesn't matter if the sample moves around, as you can see. Okay. And now we're going to begin the actual scan. So, button on the back begins the scanning. And there we go. You can see it collects the data very quickly. I'm a little bit close, as you can see by the, by the bar on the left. So I'm just going to make sure I get into all the deep little pits there. A little bit close. There we go. That should be enough. Okay, so I'm not going to save the session. Normally, I would ask you to save the data, the raw data, in case you want to come back to it. At the moment, I'm going to, there's a few bits of my arm and things in the scan here. I'm just going to delete the isolated patches. There we go. So, this is asking for parameters about your pit gauge. So, it, it models a virtual pit gauge when it does an analysis, so it wants all sorts of parameters. So it's asking for things like how many extensions do you want to put on there, how long they are, everything you'd want to know. Uh, approximate length of the longest bit of my corrosion, I'd say that's about 200 mil, so I'll put 200. And there we go. It's, it's assumed what we need from that. Uh, I don't need to exclude anything if you have a weld or some dirt or an offshoot pipe, 
you can tell it to exclude certain parts of data uh, and then it will work around that. I use all surface and here we have our analysis. So using the interaction rules, let's group them. Uh, it's using ASME B31G. Uh, we can see each feature individually. So feature number four here has our deepest point. Get the screen. Number of ways to view this. You can see our ideal cylinder around the outside there. Uh, let's go with sort by max depth. So the deepest point is in pit number four. Maximum depth, 6.09 millimeters. Everything you'd want to know, you can look at each feature individually. And from there, we can import ILI data if necessary, if you have it. Do not import. We can choose our uh, file type. So deepest point, CSV files. We're going to do an Excel report. It's asking which ones we want to use. Select all of them. And I'm just going to put this as a sample. So from there, it's going to generate a report. And here we have our completed report. So it has an overview page. It also has each feature individually. And finally, a signatures page. Very detailed analysis. As a, Once again, you can export all the raw data if you want to do your own analysis. But it is a very powerful tool. So this is PipeCheck software. This is the HandyScan 700. They're both available through Russell Fraser Sales. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us.